Okay, so a lot of you might have heard this word called PIMDAS. PIMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S. When I was in school, they taught me the saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, to remember P-E-M-D-A-S. But now the PIMDAS word is just so popular that you don't even have to remember the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You just remember PIMDAS and know how to spell it. I'm gonna show you a different way to write PIMDAS because a lot of people get confused and will say, oh, well, multiplication comes before division, but that's not true. You do multiplication and division left to right. So I like to write it in a pyramid form. That way you can see that multiplication and division are on the same level. So parentheses comes first, then exponents, then you do multiplication from left multiplication and division from left to right, and addition and subtraction from left to right. This reminds you that multiplication doesn't come for division. They're on the same level of the pyramid. You just have to remember to do them from left to right. So this is my little pyramid. I like to write it like this because it helps me remember. Um, so let's do a few. So P, oh, I forgot to kind of tell you what everything means. So let's do that again. So P, E, M, D, and then A, S. So P stands for parentheses. And then if in the parentheses, if there's more than one operation, you have to follow order of operations within the parentheses as well. And then E stands for exponents. M, multiplication, division is D, addition and subtraction, okay? So let's look at a problem. Okay, so in this case, we want to follow PEMDAS, so the little pyramid, P-E-M-D-A-S. So you just want to go through your checklist. P stands for parentheses. There is parentheses. So I'm going to underline it because that's what I'm doing first. So 3 plus 5 is 8, and then I'm going to bring everything else down. Now there's no exponents. There's no multiplication or division but there is addition and subtraction, but there's only one more operation. So all I do, eight minus two, and I get my number six, okay? So I like to underline what I'm doing and kind of build like a little pyramid down, a little inverted pyramid. Let's do another one. Three plus eight divided by four plus 12. So in this case, again, we start with our pyramid here, Parentheses, no parentheses. Exponents, no exponents. Um, multiplication or division from left to right. So I scan it starting from the left, looking for, oh, there's a division, so that's what I do first. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna rewrite everything. Three plus eight divided by four is two plus 12. So now I wanna, I'm still at this level, multiplication and division. So I'm scanning it for multiplication and division, no. Now I'm at the bottom level, addition and subtraction. I scan from left to right. Oh, here's addition. Three plus two is five. And then I bring down my 12. And then I do five plus 12 is 17. So you see, I can, I'm building a little pyramid myself, a little inverted pyramid. So it helps me to underline what I do first. And then you can see how it builds on each other. Okay. So let's do another one. Four squared plus two times five times three minus six divided by two. So here we go. So we start with our little pyramid here again, parentheses. So there's parentheses. I'm gonna do that first. Four squared plus 10 times three minus six all divided by two. I'm gonna just rewrite it. When you get good at this, you don't have to like continue to do just one step at a time. But till then, let's do it. So parentheses, no for more parentheses, exponent right here. Four squared is 16, then I'm bringing everything else down. So no more exponents, multiplication and division from left to right. So scan, scan, oh, there's multiplication. That's gonna be my next step. 16 plus 10 times three is 30, minus six divided by two. Still on multiplication and division, I need to check that. Multiplication, division, multiplication. Oh, there's a division, six divided by two. So 16 plus 30 minus six divided by two is three. 
Any more multiplication and division? No. So now I can move down to the bottom level, addition and subtraction. Left to right, oh, there's addition. addition. So 16 plus 30 is 46. Bring down my minus three. I know I'm getting a little bit low there. And now I just have 46 minus three, which is 43. So my answer here is 43. Okay, let's do a few more. I'm gonna make one up because I wanna show you something. So, Okay, so in this case, so I just made this up. So in this case, you wanna do parentheses first, but if you notice within the parentheses, there's more than one operation. This is what I was talking back at the beginning. You have to follow PEMDAS within the operation. There's addition and multiplication. Which one do you do first? Multiplication, because multiplication comes before division. So I do that, and then I still have the parentheses, two plus 15 minus seven times two, and now, still parentheses, 2 plus 15 is 17. And then my, I can drop the parentheses now that I've done every operation. Now, no exponents, multiplication and division. Do, do, do. Oh, multiplication, 2 times 2. And then, so we have 17 minus 4. And then, no more multiplication and division, just one more problem. 17 minus 4 is 13. Okay? So... That is order of operations. Hopefully that helped you. And yes, they will get more difficult, but just do the, it's the same exact steps. So do the same exact steps. Thank you.